Good day, my name is Shimon Lawton and I work for Mancosa's School of Education. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed our reality. The spread of the virus, mainly through droplets from the mouth and nose, forces us to change our social interactions, including those of teaching and learning. Due to the socio-economic inequalities in the South African context, Quintile 1 to 3 schools do not have the necessary resources to switch to high-tech remote teaching and learning. Over and above this limitation is the capacity and the readiness of some teachers as technology skills were always seen as a tool for the ICT classroom. But COVID-19 has thrust all educators into this uncharted territory as we look at how to effectively teach and learn remotely. This webinar series will focus on building and fine-tuning tech skills of educators throughout the South African context, from those with none or limited tech skills to those looking to refine their ability to teach remotely. We at Mancosa School of Education believe that the challenge brought about by COVID-19 pandemic should not result in children from deprived environments being left behind. It is with this in mind that we have gathered together professionals to equip and train our teachers to serve our communities meaningfully during this time. The Mancosa SOE is proud to be a partner in this essential initiative to equip our educators and enable them to adapt to this changing environment. Welcome to phase three of our webinar series where we look at e-platforms for 21st century learning. We have with us today Nicole Hines who will look at the platform of quizzes. Nicole Hines is a South African. She is currently working in the UAE for over five years now. She presently teaches at Next Generation School. She has developed proficiency as a senior teacher in many tech skills to enhance teaching and learning. She is dynamic and an exciting educator who builds a culture of 21st century learning in her classroom. Her passion for both technology and education has equipped her with unique tech strategies and skills for the classroom. Welcome, Nicole. Hi, Shimon. Thank you so much for having me. In today's webinar, we are going to be discussing Quizzes. Quizzes is a digital website and app that allows you to pick and create your own quizzes. You are able to conduct live games, you can assign homework and solo assignments to students and they can complete it at their own pace. And the best part about Quizzes is that you can gather detailed data that will inform your instruction. Here's how to get started. What you're going to want to do is to navigate to quizzes.com through any internet browser. On the right hand side, you'll find the sign up button. Sign up is free and can be done using any email address. Once you've signed up, you'll be asked to sign up as your role as a teacher. You will also be asked to connect to a school. If you do not see your school in the list, just click not connected to a school. You'll then be prompted to select the age group of students or grade that you like to teach, as well as any subjects. This will narrow down content that is suited for what you are teaching. You will then be brought to your teacher dashboard. Here you can search for quizzes on any topic or you can create your own quiz. To search for quizzes that have already been created, you can type in any topic in the search menu. A list of different quizzes will be displayed in order of popularity. You can also see how many times a quiz has been played, how long it has been here for, and the intended grade level. On the right hand side, you can review questions that are in the quiz. If you are happy with that quiz, you can go ahead and select it. You will then have the option to either play a live game, assign the game for homework, or you can assign to individual students for solo practice. You can also choose to save this quiz for later. 
Here you will be prompted to select a collection. Collections help you better organize your quizzes. If you are happy with the quiz but would like to make a few changes, you can go ahead and click the edit button. This will create a duplicate copy of the quiz that you can save for later. Here, you can edit questions by changing the question format or the answers. You can even add images. You can also adjust the time given to students to answer questions. Once you've finished editing the question, you can go ahead and save. You can also delete questions or add new questions. I'll teach you a little bit more about creating new questions when we create our own quiz. Once you've reviewed and you're happy, go ahead and click done. This will then save a copy in your quizzes collection. Creating a quiz is super easy. Select create new quiz, give your quiz a name, And select the relevant subjects. As you can see there are a variety of different ways to ask questions. You can e either use multiple choice, a checkbox, fill in the blank, open-ended questions or a poll. For an example I'm going to choose multiple choice. If you wanted to change the type of questioning you are doing you can always click on the top left icon and change your questioning here. As you can see on the right hand side, as I'm changing, you are being able to preview what the students would see as the questions pop up. Pay close attention to the preview as we edit the question. You are also able to add another answer option or to delete options. Don't forget to select the correct answer. Again, you can also adjust how long you want the students to take to answer the questions. Once you've completed your first question, you can always add a new question and follow the same process or an amazing feature in quizzes is that you can teleport questions from quizzes that have already been made. Here you'll be able to find tons of different questions and quizzes that you can scroll through to find the perfect questions to suit your quiz. Once you've found a question that you are happy with, click the add button and it will automatically be teleported to your quiz. There's no need to re-enter the teleport screen. Continue searching for questions until you are satisfied. You will then notice that all the questions are here on your quiz. Again, you can go and edit questions, you can change the type of questioning, or you can add more time. On the right hand side, you'll see a checklist to help you make the perfect quizzes. You can add an image. You can select the language. There are many different languages in here that you can select. And select the grade. You can also decide whether you want this to be public and visible for anyone to use and see or you can create a private quiz. This will only be visible to you. Go ahead and save your quiz. Click the done button and your quiz is now ready to be played or saved into your quizzes collection. Now that you know how to select, edit and create a quiz, let's go ahead and play a live game. 
Here you'll be given the option whether to play as teams. Students will then answer at their own pace, but their scores will be joined together as a team. The classic mode, students will play individually, or you can assign it as a test. Students will need to have logins in order for them to complete it as a test. Let's continue in classic mode. You will then be brought to the game mode display board. Here, you can share this link with the students and they can open the game directly from any device. They can also download the app on a phone or a tablet and enter the game code. You'll then notice students' names pop up as they enter the game. If a student has entered a name that you are not happy with, you can hover over their name and remove the player. The student will then get a notification that they've been sent out the game and will have to enter the code and rename themselves again. Once you're ready to start the game, go ahead and click Start. A display board will be given to you and this will be able to give you data on how the students are answering the questions. As you can see, the students' data is being collected as they answer the questions correctly or incorrectly. Once the students have finished the game, you can go ahead and click End Game. You will then be given detailed data on the students' places and the questions that they have answered. As you can see, there is an amazing amount of data that has been collected in this quiz. You can see your class's accuracy. You can see which question was the toughest, which question took the longest to answer, and any other interesting facts about the question. You can also download your results as well and review your students individually question by question. If you go back to your dashboard, you'll be able to review all these reports right over here. There are so many different features you can explore on your own. You can create your own classes, which also connects to Google Classroom if that's something you're using. And you can create your own memes that go in between the questions after students have answered in the quiz. And that's a wrap for quizzes. Shimon, I really hope that this information will help teachers become more knowledgeable in how to use quizzes, whether in live classroom or assigning homework and solo tasks. Quizzes is a great assessment tool to assess students in a fun and engaging manner. Behind me, you'll see a couple of other websites and apps that I found very useful in assessing my students. There are a number of different platforms out there, but my advice, what I recommend is make sure you're sticking to what suits you best and something that's going to make it easier for you and fun for the students. Wow, those are some amazing tips as we've learned uh, for assessments in the classroom and even now during uh, remote teaching. Thank you so much, Nicole. I know I've become so much more knowledgeable on this platform called Quizzes. Please join us next time. Thank you.